Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I am glad to have you watching. So, the last time we were here we discussed so many things about uh, suppliers and we did tax uh, withholding for them. And we agree that when we come back here we are going to be talking about customers. Why are we talking about customers and tax withholding? Because many people will argue that withholding is only for suppliers. But look at it this way. You have invoiced a customer. And this customer has done tax withholding. So the amount they are going to be paying you is not really the total amount of the invoice, but the total amount of the invoice less the amount that is withheld. And you need to capture that in your system and also know uh, which customers are withholding how much amount of money that is good for your tax uh, reports. So how do we do then do that? Here in our slides, I have set up again in the uh, customer withholding setup, three things that we need to do. Again, this one is the easy part. We just need to have an account in the chart of accounts. So we go here, we go to the chart of accounts, and then we go to liabilities here and then duties and taxes. Remember here last time we set up TDS account. TDS basically stands for tax deducted at source. Now here we need to set up a TCS account, which is tax are collected at source. So we go here and we say this is TCS and remember this is just uh, i mean this is just an account name but i think in my view or in my uh, uh, opinion it's important to have here tcs or tds so that you know what kind of an account this is this again is going to be of type tax that is critical and then we go ahead and save this there we go we, there you go we have an account here called tcs account that is the first thing the second thing is a tax withholding category. Remember, we need to do that. So, tax withholding category here. This one is for TDS. So, we need to do one for TCS. And we can call it TCS uh, for our amazing customers. Remember, here you need to give proper description of this account. So, here I'm just going to do TCS uh, for services or whatever and maybe it's going to be again five percent doesn't matter what you put it there is just a description that should help you track stuff then here i want to give also make this first of january all the way to the 31st of december that is when my year ends and then here we need to do five percent but there is something i need to tell you here it's important that you make this a negative amount so that it is going to be a subtraction or a deduction from the amount of the invoice. Then here we have the company and we have the account. This is where we need to attach our TCS account that we just created. Save it and we are done with our second part. The other one is to create a customer. Who is it that is buying from us? We need a customer here. So go here. No, I click. I click the wrong thing. Let me go here and do custom. And now here I can create. Let me just edit in full. And I say this is an amazing customer. And the customer group not necessary. The most necessary part is here in the taxes. We need an account, uh, of course. Not necessary. Not mandatory again. But I think you actually need to make this mandatory within your system. And then here, tax withholding category here. We need to select our TCS for our amazing customers. Save it. And we are done with this setup. The other thing that I would like us to do uh, so that we can keep the videos uh, not too many, fewer. I would like us to go ahead and create a sales invoice in, in our case here. So sales invoice and see what happens. Sales invoice is not written like that, but like that so we open here and then we go here select our customer is going to be our amazing customer and then here the date is going to populate we can buy the same item that we sold to our supplier last time maybe for 20,000 right and then here we can do what nothing else so here again notice there is nothing but when we save and submit this when we save this one, um, yeah, we didn't set up the cumulative threshold value, so we need to let me leave that one there. I don't want to replace it. 
we go again to our tax uh, withholding category here this list and this uh, the, the tax withholding for amazing customers we forgot to put in these amounts here so again we can just do one there and maybe whatever it is here i mean it's just for check so let's just do ten thousand and we save it we can close this one now and we go back here and save this uh, this should save so when we come down here now you notice that magic has happened what magic the magic that has happened here is the amount of the invoice is twenty thousand but you notice that 500 has been drawn and it has been attached to this account so the amount that this customer is ideally going to pay is 19,500 do you see that here is the amount and now we can go ahead if we are contented with this invoice we can go ahead and submit this amount when we do that when we come back to our chart of accounts here chart of accounts and we go to our uh, uh, to this account here payable no loans uh, duties and taxes and we go to our tcs there is a 500 amount here so you can see that uh very quickly and you notice that this one is a positive balance because it is really not a liability so remember the other one was a negative balance this one is not a negative balance it is not a liability the other thing that i like to show you is the report because remember i showed you this report tax withholding report and i told you that this report has suppliers and it also has customers so when you select customer you need to click on this button so that it refreshes and you notice here now that here we have tcs you can also enlarge this to see tcs rate is negative five total amount is twenty thousand base twenty thousand tcs amount is negative five hundred so this amount has been withheld by somebody okay and then here we have the grand total and the sales invoice you can track it here and of course the dates that is the report that you can see and if of course you can also filter by date ranges here to see probably what amount has been held over a long period of time so this is where you can track that and now this invoice of ours here we can go ahead and pay and this is the amount we need to pay right uh, or rather that is the amount that we need to be paid so when the customer pays they are going to pay this save it or we need to put a reference instead of that let's just do cash here cash does not need a reference we save it and we submit this is a payment entry if we go back to our uh, sales app or rather uh, yeah sales invoice you notice that sales invoice after we received a payment of 19,500 now says it is paid so that amount has been mapped properly and uh, if we go back to our let me see is this the easiest way yeah, here you notice that this amount is still here okay so that is how you are going to track that and i think that is all ladies and gentlemen that i wanted to prepare for our customers that is where i want to close this video and of course this series if there is anything that is missing or anything that you would like me to add in this series, please give me that in the comment section below. I'm also going to be putting across a blog post so you can just view on Code with Karani. There is going to be a detailed blog post there with all these details. Again, remember, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Please do click on the notification bell and share the video to your colleagues that can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching. I really treasure that and I hope to see you in my next release. Bye bye and take care.